Hello and welcome to Intermediate Financial Accounting 2, Tutorial 20C. This is the third and final tutorial related to accounting changes and errors. This particular tutorial just focuses on the impact of accounting errors. This tutorial has one learning objective and that will be to identify the impact of various accounting errors on assets, net income, and retained earnings over a two-year period. This tutorial is basically self-contained. Each of the scenarios we'll discuss are included in the PowerPoint, but there is also a separate document that includes them as well. So a requirement here is for each of the following situations that you'll see will indicate the effect on assets, net income, and retained earnings as at December 31st, 2020 and 2021. If the financial statement element is overstated, we will use O for overstated. If the financial statement element is understated, we will use U for understated and no effect or NE if there is no effect on the financial statements. So let's proceed. So our first situation here is the depreciation expense on machinery is too high for 2020 and the 2021 depreciation expense is correct. For 2020, the assets are understated, U. The accumulated depreciation is too high, that's overstated, but the net assets are understated. Now, because the depreciation expense is too high, the net income is understated. And if the net income is understated, then the retained earnings are too low as well, right? So when we have an expense that's too high, the net income is too low, and therefore the retained earnings are too low. Now, if we carry that over the 2021, the assets are still understated because the accumulated depreciation from 2018 is too high. So the assets are too low, understated. The net income in 2021 is correct because the depreciation expense is correct. So there's no effect on the 2021 net income. However, the retained earnings is still understated because the 2020 error carried forward. For our second situation, Supplies on hand at December 31st, 2020, were expensed in 2020, but used in 2021, and the supplies on hand at December 31st, 2021, are correct. So for 2020, our assets are understated because the supplies on hand is too low. They were expensed when they shouldn't have been. The net income is too low, it's understated, because the supplies expense is too high. So the supplies expense is overstated, but the net income is understated. And if the net income is understated, then the retained earnings are understated. For 2021, if the supplies on hand is correct and the 2020 supplies were consumed, then that 2020 error has self-corrected. And because the supplies on hand at the end of 2021 are correct, there is no effect on the assets. The supplies expense, however, is overstated because the supplies that were expensed in 2020 should have been expensed in 2021. So the 2021 expense is too low, so the expense is understated. And if the expense is understated, the net income is too high, overstated. However, the retained earnings at the end of 2021 are fine. There's no effect because that 2020 error self-corrected over two years. It should have been expensed in 2021. It was expensed in 2020, but when you factor the two years in together, it's fine. So there's no effect in 2021. Third situation, we have a three-year insurance policy purchased in January 2020, recorded as a prepaid asset, and no insurance expense has been recognized. The recording of the insurance as prepaid is fine. However, that balance needs to be reduced as the insurance is consumed. So at the end of 2020, the assets are too high because the prepaid insurance balance is too high. They're overstated, assets overstated. The net income is overstated because the insurance expense is too low. The insurance expense is understated resulting in an overstatement of net income. And of course, if the net income is overstated, then the retained earnings are overstated. Carrying forward into 2021, again, because no insurance expense has been recognized, the prepaid insurance expense continues to be too high and overstated. The insurance expense continues to be understated and therefore the income being overstated. And the retained earnings continues to be overstated 
doubled up. In fact, overstated by twice as much because of the impact of the 2020 and 2021. Understated insurance expense results in net income being overstated because the insurance was not expense. It's overstated by two years worth. So this error is compounding. So the retained earnings are also overstated. Fourth scenario. 2019. Ending inventory overstated by $10,000. The 2020 inventory was understated by 8,000, and the 2021 inventory is correct. In 2020, the assets are understated because the inventory is $8,000 too low. Okay, inventory too low, assets too low. The net income is understated. Now, here's the problem. The cost of goods sold are $18,000 too high. The $10,000 inventory overstatement resulted in cost of goods sold to be $10,000 too high. And then the inventory understatement in 2020 also has an income statement impact, right? So the cost of goods sold are too high. So you have this cumulative effect of 10,000 from 2019 plus 8,000 in 2020. So the cost of goods sold is significantly overstated resulting in net income being understated. However, the retained earnings is understated only by the 2020 error. So the 2020 net income is too low because the cost of goods are overstated by $8,000. The 2019 error self-corrects over two years. If we shift over to 2021, we're good now from assets. The inventory is correct because the uh, inventory error self-correct over two years. The 2019 inventory would have self-corrected by the end of 2021. The net income, however, is too low because the cost of goods sold that was too high in 2020. The 8,000 inventory was expensed in 2020. It should have been expensed in 2021. That means the cost of goods sold is understated and therefore results in net income that's overstated. However, the retained earnings is okay because that 2020 error self-corrects over two years and there's no problem with the 2021 inventory or cost of goods sold. Fifth situation, a machine with a 15 year useful life was expensed when purchased in 2020. It should have been capitalized, so the machine asset is too low, so the machine asset is understated, the assets are then understated. Because the machine was expensed, the expenses are overstated, which results in net income to be understated. And if net income is understated, then retained earnings are also understated. In 2021, the machine assets continues to be too low, so it's understated. The net income now uh, overstated because no depreciation is taken, so there's no depreciation expense, and therefore the expenses are understated, resulting in net income that's overstated. And the retained earnings continues to be understated as well, right? The retained earnings from the beginning are too low by an amount larger than the 2021 overstatement, so the closing retained earnings are too low and therefore understated. And for the final situation, the company did not accrue any interest expense on the note payable in 2020. The interest was expensed when paid in 2021. So this is a violation of accrual accounting here. So in 2020, the assets, there's no effect. The liabilities are too low, but there's no effect on assets. The net income is overstated because the interest expense is too low. There should have been interest accrued, which would reduce net income. So net income is now too high. And of course, if net income is too high, being overstated, then retained earnings are overstated. In 2021, the entire amount of the interest expense was expensed. It should have been accrued in 2020, but still there's no effect on assets. The interest expense now is too high. The interest expense is overstated. They should have been accrued in the prior year. So the net income is too low. However, the 2020 error corrects itself. And over two years, there is no impact on retained earnings. So the retained earnings is fine. This concludes tutorial 20C. For additional information and problems, refer to your course materials. And we hope you found these tutorials useful.